Once again in Skyrim, we, um, no, thank you, I do not. Well, you can refill my water. Of course. Ugh. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off. And, anyway, we're back in Skyrim. I had a good night's sleep. We rented a room. We had a, I'm right a little behind bit you. of breakfast. And we need to go in and speak with Marcus Janus. What it mean? The Tell him that we've met with Val. And who among us could possibly go that honor? And such power. Can I help you, friend? Yeah, I talked to Val. He agreed to meet with you. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go. But there's just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. Well, at least by myself, that is. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me to the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if you will. Well, can't pass that up, huh? Okay, but stick close. I'm right behind you, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut out for this shite anymore. Alright, well, I guess we're heading back to Helgen. Ready, girls? Where's, uh, Lydia? There you are. Come on, Lydia. We're taking Marcus to Helgen. Is that my horse up there? No, that's not my horse. Where's my horse? Ah, that's Lydia's horse. Uh, horse has gone wild here. Grab your horses and let's uh, let's get out of here. Although we're not using horses because Marcus can't ride. So follow me. I'm the Pied Piper. Come on. What? You guys can't get past a horse. Um. There's a sidewalk here. Come on. There you go. Walk this way. Move this damn horse out of the road. Falkreef was once full of wanderers and warriors like yourself. There you found it. Guess you're not used to walking on sidewalks. Fellow travelers. Who are you guys? Imperial soldiers. Alright. Don't want to get mixed up with them. Or the storm cloaks either for that matter. I don't want to have anything to do with that war. These guys stopping every red now come along quietly red guard woman brother I think she's telling the truth I'm not huh what oh you're right we've made a mistake now move along before that mouth of yours gets good morning trouble. next time you're looking to pester someone make sure it's the right person <laughs> okay well they're just stopping every red guard woman I guess they don't pay them to be smart. Of course, I don't know if they pay them at all. Wonder what's up there. Oh well, I don't have time for uh, exploring. 
Doesn't look like the bandits are back. I think they replenish themselves every two or three days. Be careful of the rocks, they can still hurt you. Past day. Of course, it's still morning. It may burn off. What's that red thing up there? Yep, that's what I thought. Came down with two arrows. Are you you the one yelling help? You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Ooh. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Oh really? Well, let's go find somebody else to harass. Huh? Now what? Get out of here before we meet some other weirdo. Skyrim sure full of them. Are those uh, wolves that we killed previously? Probably. This is the back way. We want to go around the front. Okay, getting close. Alright, Marcus, you sure about this? If you are, come on. Hello. Talkative, aren't you? Oh well. Maybe she just doesn't like cats. Some people, they're just not cat people. Well, he's Marcus, why have you come here? Yeah, he doesn't seem too excited Valerius, about being I'm called sure a dog. This is quite a shock to you and terribly unexpected. I came here to check on my family, but it appears none of them survived. And I realized you were here, so I've got your back. Both our interests for two old friends to meet again. At last. Ah, oh, your brother, yes. Marcus, I'm very sorry. But whatever the circumstances, it does my eyes good to see you again after all these years. Yes. Same here, old friend. Same here. So, the keepers of Hatu in Skyrim. Who would have ever dreamed of such a time? All right, Janice. What is it you really want? Don't forget, I know you. So out with it. Yes, you do know me, old friend, better than most. Very well. I aim to rebuild this town and make her my home. Rebuild? Janice, I have no intention of helping you or anyone else rebuild a town. I'm here on other business. Yes, yes, I know, Valerius. Hey, okay, Lydia, you're kind of in the way. True, 
Perhaps we can be mutually beneficial. Don't you grab a broom like uh, All I'm asking is that Marissa? Clean After up. That, if we're not in agreement, we can There's another one over there. Likely never seen it again. But Valerius, there's plenty of time to get to all that later. Right now, let's just catch up on old times. Well, you're in luck, Janice. Those bandits left some fresh wine downstairs, and I need a drink. Yes, I could use a drink too, old friend. Let me say goodbye to my new friend, and I'll join you. I can't thank you enough for your help. As agreed, here is your compensation. Thank you. You never mentioned uh, rebuilding Helgen until now. Why? I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't intentionally keeping anything from you. I just wanted to meet with Valerius before I brought it up. But yes, I want to make Helgen my home. But she certainly has seen better days, that's for sure. You know, I grew up just across the border at Cyrodiil. And Helgen was always a place my family visited when I was a boy. I have many fond memories of those days. And now, with my brother and his family gone, let's just say he'd be happy that I settled here. And from what I could tell as we came in, it'll be a lot of work cleaning everything up. But nothing impossible. Then we can take a look at what's left of these buildings and begin rebuilding from there. I'm sure there'll be plenty of work for you if you're interested. Well, I'm not a carpenter. Why don't you take a day and think about it? That'll give Valerius and I some time to catch up and come up with a plan. Can you return to see us in a day or so? Well, I guess, but like I say, I'm not a carpenter. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you once again, friend. I'll see you then. I now can't then, thank you Let's enough. go get that wine. You're in one piece, As agreed, so here's your compensation. Uh, you already yes, said that. Yes, fortunately it was without incident. <clears throat> of course, I had Patsy to protect me. <laughs> oh, yes, dear Patsy. Oh, there's not a more loyal man in all of Tamarin. And I'm pleased the road was kind to you. I've got your back. How long has it been now, Val? All right, gals, Maybe let's go. 20 years? They're just going to have some small talk. Well, let's see. We got that out of the way. We got 24 hours before we have to come back. Well, they're about, well, a day or two. We can come back anytime we want. But, let's see. What do we have? Give Marcus and Val a day to discuss matters in private. Very good. Uh, we need to talk to the Greybeards. We need to go to Nettlebane. Or get Nettlebane from the uh, Orphan Rock uh, witches or whatever they're called. Uh, what else do we have? We need to find a mammoth tusk. Where's Brittle Shin Pass? Let's take a look. Let's see where that's at. Hey, we're here. It's over here. We're not too far away. Stadmore. When did we clear that? Huh. I didn't know we cleared that. Alright. Let's go clear this place out. See what that's all about. Maybe we'll make some more money. Rumor has it that chests brimming with gold are locked deep within, which none have ever claimed. Some scary things lurk in the depths of the barrow. Uh, yeah, but this isn't the barrel, I don't think. And I don't remember going in here. Huh. Alright, let's go back around here. We need to uh, go to that pass, wherever that's at. Still kind of hazy out. What do we have here? Corundum. I 
feel chilly. Well, let's let's put this on. I've got your back. That ought to warm me up a little. Oh, gee. Whoa. Let's not fall down there. Okay, so this pass should be up here someplace. It's kind of a picturesque view, isn't it? Now I see something up there. It's this is life. The I hear a bear. Us to draw breath. But there's probably bandits. There's always bandits if there's a cave. Let's take a look. What's inside? Yeah, <laughs> Liddy is always wanting to go into caves. All right, here we go. This looks familiar. Haven't I been in here before? Uh-oh. Out. I guess I can't set those off. Can we not set those things off without stepping on them? Ah, I thought I missed it unless she stepped on it. Get him, girls. I can't pass it up. Bandit? You know there's something wrong with a dead bandit. There must be something worse than a bandit in here. And I'm thinking since there were... Ugh, what is that smell? Since there was magic uh, wards on the floor, there must be magic bad guys. Come on, Lydia. Arissa, look out. Jeez, how many arrows is this guy gonna take? this guy. I thought I had a shield. Do not have a shield? I do have a shield. Well, what the heck was that other guy? Was he a vampire or something? Saw? What are they using saw for? Ugh, that doesn't look good.
conjuration, huh? I'll read those later. I'll read all that later. What's that? That. We'll just take everything we can get. A book of Daedra. So these guys must be Daedra worshippers or something. Oh, uh oh, I'm full. Lydia, come here. You were sworn to carry my burdens. I'm right behind you. As you wish, my Thane. All right, take some of this heavy stuff. Oh, I'm taking stuff from you. Sorry. I meant to give you stuff. Okay, take the elk hide, take the garnet. You can actually take all of this stuff. And iron ingots, iron ore. What else we got? Corundum that I've been digging up, iron ore. And take this straw and the wolf pelts. That'll do for now. Lead on. I shall. Is there somebody in that cage? There is. Maybe right there. Not quite. Up a little bit. Nope. Down a little bit. Okay, how about right there? Ooh, that was close. A little bit more. Ah, that was close. How about there? Nope. Up. There we go. Nice. Hello? Well met. Oh, what's wrong with your face? Is that blood? What is that? Do you mind keeping that closed? Keeping the door closed? Well, what do you mean? It's a cage. Why, yes. It's quite comfortable in here. But when it's open, there's a bit of a draft. Uh, are you joking or are you crazy? But the cage door has holes in it. You do realize that was a joke, don't you? No, I guess, okay, so you're not crazy. Well, you still may be crazy. All right, so, um, so you come out of the cage? Maybe. I'd grown quite fond of it. The iron bars, the pattern of squares, and, well, I guess that's it. But I do like squares. What's your name? My name is Zora Fairchild. Although it was never meant to be ironic, I was once very much a child, and very much fair. So fair, in fact, that the Divine saw it fit to punish me with a smart and unviable face. It's always easier to blame the gods for such things, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's what they're for, I guess. Uh, looks like you kissed a troll. Uh, I noticed the, um, is that war paint? True beauty is on the inside, so you have none. I hardly noticed. Well, that would be lying right there. I think you're beautiful. Yes, I noticed the, um, uh, is that war paint? No, don't make things awkward. I am more than comfortable with my own burnt skin. It is a burn after all. I've tried washing it off to no avail. But it hides the scars. That's a good thing. Now, I wasn't always comfortable with it, but living in a cage tends to alter your perspective. I suppose it does. Was necromancer who marred your face? Who no. Necromancers tend to disapprove of having their specimens damaged. I should know. This is the eleventh necromancer who's enslaved me. What? And all eleven have been as delicate as a lord is with his finest furs. It makes me so sad to disappoint them so. I think this last one was quite excited with his find until he brushed back my hair. <sighs> <sighs> I've seen that look on more than enough men to recognize it. Eleven times? You can't be serious.
Oh, I am. I do enjoy it. There is never a shortage of wizards who like to use this pass as their lair. Nor a shortage of heroes who travel through it. Don't get comfortable, Lydia. When were you headed? Where were you headed when you were captured? I was on my way north to the icy tundra. It's quite vast, quite icy, and extremely dull. Which is precisely why I visited it. She said I didn't know Lydia was magic. Some people look at a blank portrait and see only emptiness. I see an opportunity to paint. So you're a glass half full kind of a girl. What do you mean? Imagine a vast field of pure white, soft as a pillow wrapped in a cloud. From a distance, you might think it's snow. Yet, when you come to the lip of its feathery shawl and run your fingers through crowns of ivory, you'll know you have arrived in White Run. Oh, so you're heading to oh, White Run. Huh? Of Tamriel's most beautiful and profitable Tundra Cotton Field. Zora's Field, as it's known to the locals. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I'm not from this area. Are you sure you can survive in such a climate? I certainly hope so. It is called Tundra Cotton. Otherwise, they should have changed the name. What sort of rescue were you looking for? Well, handsome, but not cute. Funny, but not mean. Tender, but not soft. Strong, but not violent. Caring, but not servile. You're kind of picky. I could go on and on. No, for the love of divines, please don't. Are you sure? I sound like the sixth hero who saved me. Aggressive, but impatiently so. Well, because I was kind of going somewhere. the cage before unloosening his belt. What? You carry a large weapon for a girl your size. It's not just for show. I thought the necromancers seemed to think so. Nobody takes me seriously. You hear all this talk about a war? Huh, but when my weapon of choice was an amulet of Mara, then the boys were quite certain of my intentions. Even if that was just for show. Do you have a lot of experience with two-handed weapons? It took some time to get the hang of it. My body did pay quite a price for my lessons. I have more scars than skin now, I'm afraid. Yet you'll find I'm a capable fighter. And if it's adventure you seek, my lord, I am but your humble servant. The fury to your Holger, the Edwer to your Barenzia, the house girl to your Jarl. Hmm. Well, I already have one of those. I'll consider it, just try not to get in my way. You should try wearing the amulet again. You'd be surprised. Um, I already have one of those. Then you're an actual lord! Or a thane, as it were. Uh oh. <laughs> here I was half mocking you here, when instead I only mock myself. Alright, who's pushing me? Well, okay, if the only way I can get you out of here is to have you follow me, then why don't you come with me? You have my steel. All right, we'll we'll get you out of this cage anyway. Who was pushing me, Lydia? Stop pushing. All right, let's get out of here. Did we find everything we need to find? I don't like this place. I really don't like this place. What do we got here? Trash is another treasure. Okay, this way. Let's see what's in this chest. I think we can go up. So let's go down. Uh oh, is there somebody down here? Yeah. 
And she does... Oh, jeez. I fell all the way down. Uh... Sorry, girls. That is a big sword. All right, let's get out of here. I don't like this place. Inside. Um, what's inside? We just came from a cave. Where's that cotton you were looking for? All right. So, did we clear it out like we were supposed to, or what? the bandit well it's the quest is gone so we must have cleared it I guess unless the whole um, the whole object was to meet that crazy girl if that's the case then yep we did her all right let's you know you find these down here but you can't get their tusks I need a mammoth tusk if we can well here's some flat ground I think we'll... uh hello hello a noble huh, huh? my money's on the big one those fools are actually fighting well it was just a wolf Well, just where are we anyway? Oh, we're on the back side. Well, it looks like we're close to White Run. Let's head home. Are we going the right way? We're not, are we? No, we're not. Let's go this way. What? I have a horse whistle, but I don't have... I don't own a horse. I thought I had a horse. I must have ate him when I got hungry. I get hungry a lot. Oh, it's a fox. I thought it was a wolf. These arrows don't go very far for a long bow. I hope this bow levels up pretty soon. Yeah, come here. What? Oh, it's a werewolf. A gibbering lunatic, and they turn into werewolves, and they run around the countryside eating everybody.
What's getting me? Now the guards show up. Okay, onward. We're almost there. Pretty flat here. I don't think we we don't have a house to live in. So let's let's see, Lydia. I'm right behind you. Why don't you set us up a camp? There we go. No All right. If I have any food to cook. Cooked boar meat. Leg of goat. Some pheasant roast. Rabbit haunch. Oh, we got a bunch of those. Wow. And venison chops. Okay. Yeah. Grab us uh Remember, a good leader is brave but not reckless. Firm but not rigid. Uh okay. Man, she you are particular. I'm gonna eat a little yeah. bit. All right, girls. We're gonna stay here until morning. So what's now? Well, like I just said, we're gonna stay here till morning. And uh, so just relax. Mm -hmm. And in the morning we'll carry on. Okay, girls. I'm gonna catch some shed eye. I'll see you in in the morning. How about that? God, I'm so tired. Me too. Well, you're welcome to come in and share the tent if you want. Stomach's growling. Oh, did you guys uh, even get any shut eye? Huh? No? All right, Lydia, break camp. I've got your back. But how would you ever manage without me, huh? Tear down to camp, Lydia. We're ready to go. Okay, you guys ready to head out? Let's get on to White Run. Uh, what's the big hurry? Oh no, more vigilance. Oh, what the hell? Uh, if you guys were looking for the. Well, no, you. Never mind. I thought they might be looking for um, that werewolf guy, but I don't think so. I think that's a different group. That's the silver hand, I think. Well, let's see. we got a couple things we need to do. One of them, we need to get up to High Arothgar. 
That's going to take a while to climb those 7,000 steps. Which are only about 700, but that's okay. Um, you know, these Nords, they, they're not too bright. They don't know how to count. I really should break down and buy a horse. I should run up and buy a house in White Run so we've got some place to stay. What do you guys think? It'd be kind of nice to have a place to stop and sleep once in a while, wouldn't it? Have a meal. Let's go up and talk to that uh, that guy in uh, White Run. The Jarl's advisor, whatever his title is. What do I know? I'm just a cat. Who knows what these humans think? Yes. Yes. All oh, those guys. Those All right, guys girls. This is our new house. The steward sold us a house. So it's good to be the thane, huh? One man's trash is another's treasure. Uh, yeah, well, whatever. Let's check it out. Yeah, he did make me a thane. Nice place you've got here. I could get used to this. Where's the mead? You want some mead? Well, that's a big book. Tell you what. Uh, do I have any mead? Let's see. Do you need something? Yeah, you asked for some mead. Okay. Let's manage your equipment. No, let's uh, let's trade some things. I guess I could help you out a bit. No, you asked me for some mead. I was just gonna give you some mead. If I have any. Uh, dog meat. The hell am I gonna do with dog meat? Here, I'll give you a couple of these. There you go. Is that everything? Yeah. How much did you want? Okay, um... Obviously, Lydia, you know this is your home. But, Arissa? Do you need something? I wonder what sort of cuisine is popular. Let's talk about home. I this place is your new home. Cool, huh? And I don't know, I was gonna set yeah. you loose, but you're I'm a pretty right good there. fighter. And you're crazy. I like crazy. Let's see. Let's talk about home. There you go. Got a place to stay now. I'm pretty sure Lydia already knows she has a Still place. Still here. I'm right behind you. Yeah. Lead on. Lydia's my buddy. She knows this is her home. Okay. Well, let's go check out rest of the digs. Ew, what's this? Oh, pretty cool. Sunshine on my shoulder. Oh, am I hungry again? Now, I thought for sure that I changed that office up there to a child's room. But maybe not. Yeah, Lydia, this is your room. Where you at, girl? Where's Lydia? Lydia, don't be shy. Come on. Lydia, come on. Come on in. Don't be shy. 
I've got your back. I know you do. Hmm. I thought there was an option. Let's get going then. Wasn't, Still here. Wasn't there an option to tell you that you could stay here? Huh? Okay, this is your new home. How can I argue with that? Well, you shouldn't. Because there it is. I've got your back. Now let's see if there's um Huh? If there's an option. Huh. Oh there it is. About this particular huh? area. You may sleep in this area during the night, because it's your room. There you go. How can I argue with that? There you go. And with that, we'll uh Continue adventuring tomorrow. I've had enough for today. So you girls just lay about, have fun, and we'll take off in the morning. You don't need to follow me. Mmm. Supper.